I think it's really important um, to get accurate figures because um, then perhaps more research will be done on people who have all the symptoms of an underactive thyroid but their blood tests are normal which is what happened to me um, I mean we have so many members now as I said there's uh, over 20,000 members of our forum and they're all on there trying to find help because they have all the symptoms of an underactive thyroid but they're not being diagnosed and, and part of that um, is due to the TSH test because the guidelines state that patients don't need to be treated until that test level gets to 10. The test range for TSH is something like 0.4 to 4.5 and so there's a lot of people between the top of the range and 10 who have all the symptoms but they won't be treated because the doctors are told not to treat people within that area um, and so there's a lot of people really poorly out there and it can cause actual havoc to families sometimes because the mother can't work sometimes, um, has problems looking after the children, is constantly tired, depression is a main symptom as well. So it really needs to be sorted by having more research on the fact that those people aren't getting treated and why they're not getting treated.